The temperature here in Virgin, Utah is teetering on chilly, but the summer is so close you can feel it. The weather affects a lot of my travel decisions, since I live in my Jeep most of the time. I'm basically chasing the sun right now. After the chaos of driving like 4,000 miles across the country solo and up through Arizona, going to a bunch of beautiful places, breaking down and having some company for some days and then them leaving, life feels a little quiet now. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I have learned to just adapt, even if it takes me a couple days. I've had a goal of going to Zion for the past couple of years, but just haven't yet. When I finally got there and we were able to drive into the park, we quickly realized an entire road was closed to the public and you couldn't park anywhere. It was a little tease of Zion. Unfortunately, we just ended up having to leave. I guess I'll have to save Zion for a solo mission. If you want to know the experience of going to a grand national park, it's the parking lot. It's literally cannot find parking anywhere. Like these places are gorgeous, but it's so stressful to even try to get into them. Like this is why I don't really like to go to really touristy places like this. Like the Grand Canyon wasn't as bad as um, Zion. There's there's nowhere to park. Can't really see it. Fortunately, we were able to stop into a lesser known location. Well, maybe not lesser known, but less people was the Grafton ghost town right outside of Zion. Grafton was first settled in 1859 and still stands as a ghost town in honor of the early settlers. Some movie scenes were also shot here, including Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid in 1969. We also looked at the graveyard close by and read the stones of a couple reading Killed by Indians. The husband and wife were in their early 20s. Times are very, very different now. Anyways, back to my solo travels, back to a motel first in this cool vehicle that parked next to Yuki. So I got into this camp spot. It's not really a camp spot, it's BLM land, but you can camp on it. The problem sometimes with this type of camping, especially in like, not like a camping, like I pulled into here, but I couldn't find the actual camp spots. But anyways, is that this land is, you know, public land basically where people can camp or hunt or shoot fishing all that type of stuff and it gets really scary sometimes whenever you're on the land and nobody else around and there's gunshots and for the past like hour or so it's 10 o'clock at night and there's gunshots i don't know how far away they are but it's not just like it's like like it just, it's scary being so alone out in the middle of nowhere sometimes. But especially if there's someone shooting guns at night time because this is so remote. You can't even really see where I'm at. Just park down here. I mean, I'm sure everything will be fine. But one of the scary things that I don't know if people talk about when you're doing this type of lifestyle is the, the shooting on the public land. Every time I start to try and go to sleep, I just hear pow, pow, pow. It, it literally feels like I'm like a war zone. That's the type of shooting it is. I don't get shot. I had to drive through the sand to get here, and I'm hoping tomorrow I can get out properly because the sand is very soft, and my four-wheel drive was like sticking and not working properly. So we'll deal with it tomorrow if I can fall asleep tonight. You know, I'm like I'm just gonna get out of here because it's like a mile or more of off-roading and that's not a road it's more for like atvs and stuff i don't know what it's for but it wasn't the right way i don't know why my gps does that but i nearly got stuck a few times it was quite terrifying but you know i just maintained momentum and we got out and then i fell back asleep i've had company and i'm alone again now and it's just there are pros and cons of being alone and a con is definitely that if you're in a 
troubled situation, you know, it's just yourself to get you out. You don't feel as confident alone a lot of time, well, for me anyways, because, you know, you're just relying on you and your vehicle. But this wasn't the best place to camp. Especially with, like, the machine guns going off the whole night. I have so much editing to do. So I need to find a library. And I've had having so many problems with uploading on, like, hotel or coffee shops Wi-Fi. But library Wi-Fi usually works okay. And you can sit in there for a long time. So I'm going to try to find a little library around where I'm at. So I think after these next couple days, I'm really hoping that it warms up. And I'm going to try this. Like, it's a three-hour hike or so to Arizona Hot Spring. And it's like right on the border of Nevada. But another thing that I'm scared of, since we're making a video of all the things that are scary, is that this um, hot spring actually had a bout of like this bacteria that can kill you if it gets up in your nose or something like that. So they closed it down for a while because of that bacteria in the water. And I'm kind of sketched out now. So I'm going to do the hike. I'm going to get there. I'm not going to put my head in the water. You know, I want to find my first hot spring of the year, despite the brain-eating bacteria. But anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. I need to get all this editing and work done. Listen to this. And it doesn't shake, because I think the Cadillac converter was making it shake when I started it and rattling. So, very pleased with that. Uh, I'm going to go find a library and a coffee shop and just edit my little heart out through this rainy day. These are the types of days that it's hard to live in your vehicle because there's only so much you can do in the rain. Let's get out of here. But these are the types of roads you can expect. Nothing Jeep you can't handle. Much better than the sand back there. weather is absolutely insane and actually terrifying. It's like lightning and thunder and there's like a rainbow on that side and there's like just forbidding clouds. I don't know if I should continue on. It has been a gloomy, moody day. I'll continue on. This whole road is completely flooded so I've just stopped alongside kind of like an uphill slant and it's still raining. They don't have any service. And today I'm feeling very alone and emotional and it just seems like everything just feels so like lonely and like forbidding. I'm just gonna sit here, I guess, and wait for the storm to pass in all regards, but I drove right into it and I'm so tired. Like I didn't sleep well last night. <laughs> this is terrifying. Like, um, weather like this. Sorry, like my eyes are burning, but also I'm emotional. <laughs> I came to the desert to have sunshine. The whole day I was at the library just editing and I went to the laundromat. I don't know if I should continue on. Well, my eyes are burning. I am not having a good day today. Ugh. That is flooded. absolute adventure. There's a rainbow, there's donkeys, there was a completely flooded road. This is insane. It has been a very up and down time. <laughs> like I always say, you can't have the yin without the yang, but today has been a little difficult just because some people ask, don't you ever get lonely, blah, blah, blah. And I guess I do. I mean, I need a lot of alone time and a lot of time to recover, but I'm a human being and I do get lonely. And today I was, and yesterday, I was just feeling it a lot. The sun came out a little over here. This is worth it to me. It's not easy and people will always say, you have the ideal lifestyle. I wish I could do what you do. You're living my dream, but there's a lot of sacrifice in that. I can't have things. You know, I can't really have really close friendships. I can't see my family much. I can't, I don't, I can't have a relationship properly. It hurts me. But you know, I, I, I talked to my family yesterday and I keep in contact with them. So it's really nice that I'm close to my family in that way. And I did choose this. I can still have feelings about it though. But this is beautiful. 
This is gorgeous. I needed this. Sometimes when you're in towns out here and they're just kind of ugly, you feel like, what am I doing this for? But then you get back out here and you're like, okay, I remember. I am pretty tired, so I'm gonna go to sleep like right when it gets dark, but it's not even six yet. So I'm having my supper, which is a salad. Um, I have, I got canned artichokes. I had some boiled eggs free range. Got some cottage cheese and some salad mix. I'm gonna eat like a bunch of that because I have this whole bag of salad mix. And I like eating like um, large portion meals that are like lower calorie rather than like small things that are like really high calorie. And then I have apple, banana. Yuki has made it through all of the crazy things today. I'm very grateful for this, this view. The weekends are the hardest for me because I need to upload on the weekends, I need internet. But I also can't afford hotels in the weekends because hotels in the weekends are always so much more expensive. So I try to, I'm trying to finagle my way around it this weekend because around Vegas especially in Nevada, all the hotels around here are just so expensive. You just have to remember that sometimes, no matter how you're feeling, it's still temporary. And just feel it and don't do yourself the, the disservice of thinking it's going to be forever. I have severe like dopamine, serotonin or whatever issues and depressed depression issues and things like that. And which is partially why I, I do this lifestyle because it gives me some high highs and I really just need as much dopamine as possible. And it's not for everyone. You know, it's barely even for me. You know, I get really stressed out at the same time, but like I kind of just need to structure my life in a way that I can feel like I'm living. Gotta sort through all my laundry. I've been craving, I've been thinking about this and it's not something I should keep thinking about. But whenever I was on the Navajo reservation, there were stray dogs everywhere. And I know they don't have a lot of shelters there. And the ones that they do have are high kill shelters. I'm not gonna do it right now, but if I was going to do it, I, I'm, I really wanna adopt one from the, the reservations because those dogs are, are, are need the most. And they're so cute. And I really, I really just want, like, you know, I just love animals so much in this lifestyle. Like I said, you have to give things up. And one of them is being I can't also have an animal. When I wear my colored glasses, the sun comes shining through. Colored glasses, the world looks shiny and new. The skies are ever so blue. I'm happy. I have been needing boots. These shoes have just, they need to be retired. They really do. They're not um, looking so great. So I wanted to get some boots that were kind of like desert capable and I can throw these ones out and for like hiking. So hard because every sports store I go to, the only good boots that I actually like are men's boots. They don't ever have like good women's shoes and that. This is like, I have a complaint about it. Like when it comes to like tactical wear and stuff like that, like they do not have good options for women. So, and then they never have my size in the men's size. So I had to order on Amazon. But another thing is I can't get things shipped to me because I'm moving around all the time. So I tried to order it to that city. So they should be arriving today. So I'm gonna go to that city. Hopefully the boots will fit, I don't know. Um, do finish my editing and then find another camp spot along Lake Mead. Right, so I got my Amazon package. It just happened to be in the coffee shop that I came to and I just saw like the Amazon pickup box thing is right in that coffee shop so I'm like wow I'm in Boulder City which is apparently a very sunny place one of the bars said free drink to anyone any day the sun doesn't shine in Boulder City if you ever are in this area I highly recommend that drive to completely avoid Las Vegas da -da -da. the nice the really lightweight it is very sunny here but look perfect fit Yay! I'm so happy they fit perfect. Like way comfier than my kind of shoes that I can now throw away. 
I made it out here before dark. Um, I didn't make it all the way to where I was trying to go, but in these types of areas, if you find a fire ring, that means it's been a camp spot, so you can use it. And I, I just pulled off into here. It's but this road is brutal. If I wasn't, so I need to get up really early tomorrow and try to drive back into town to upload my video because I, there was no good Wi-Fi, not good enough to upload. I need to try again tomorrow, but I needed to get here before it got dark. So I was just in a pickle. I would have driven all the way to the lake if I don't have to leave early in the morning because this road takes a really long time to get down. This yeah. is good enough for tonight. I just needed a place to sleep that was free. Do a little housekeeping, a little tidying. <laughs> I just remember whenever I built this out. Just remember that? Still a little clean. It's actually quite clean. I'm doing better today, by the way. <laughs> I was having a bit of an emotional time. Good morning. It's time to take the long road out of here. They uh, let me check in early and I'm still trying to upload my YouTube video. Grandmother-esque hotel room. After I get this done, I can resume my life. This video has been not the most exciting, but it's been a real life behind the scenes. They're great, they're comfortable. I think they'll be really good for hiking as well. And they don't make my feet all sweaty or anything because they're made for deserts. We'll end it here and continue on the adventure in the next video. 98%, we're so close, come on. The internet keeps going out. Thanks for trusting us.